Tower News, 1st of April. How are we doing, guys? Hope you're not being uh, April full this morning. Uh, fingers crossed for me, we're going to get through this with no outtakes. Uh, CCTV and everybody else seem to think you were absolutely hilarious that I were on my deathbed and uh, we're doing outtakes. But anyway, fingers crossed. This is not an April full. Uh, the Virgin Poker Forum Rumble uh, playoff has been changed from this Thursday to next Tuesday at 8pm. Uh, unforeseen circumstances mean that we can't have it this Thursday, but everybody from A World of Poker who took place and everybody from uh, Punter's Lounge who took place in the four-week rumble can play in the playoff, nobody else. So next Tuesday, 8pm, is the place to be to find out who is going to be the forum champions. Fingers crossed for AWOP, but... Uh, the battle will commence 8pm next Tuesday uh, between AWOP and the Punter's Lounge. Looking forward to it. I will be there doing my best for the team. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> this Thursday at Bolton, there is a £150 double chance freeze out. 7,000 starting stack with 7,000 add on. Uh, spoke to Ian about it and I mentioned it before. Starting at 8pm with the blinds at 51 on a 45 minute clock for two levels and then for the rest of the clock is a 25 minute clock so it's not bad I don't think uh, 45 minutes two levels 25 for the rest sounds like an uh, interesting competition that's Thursday at the Bowling G 150 pound double chance to get yourself down uh, 18, 90, 100 runners is that what we're going to get don't forget dealer delt fantastic for Bolton always nice to see dealers in the place but uh, We'll be reporting on Friday about uh, the results from that and how many turned up for it. Because last Saturday in the G in Blackpool, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> as you can see, still badly. Uh, last Saturday in the G, 65 runners for their £200 deep stack. Ali Malou turned up, TK, uh, Howard Plant turned up, Nick Slade turned up. And it was Nick <coughs> who eventually turned out the winner. Well done, Nick. Uh, but big mention to Sally, SAS and uh, CCTV for coming second and fifth respectively. Well done to you guys. Uh, Phil, the card room manager, uh, the brand new one, took everything on board from uh, the month before, made it into a great comp and uh, took things on board such as uh, no buffy, no time to go out for eating, blah, blah, blah. Had a buffy and let me tell you, the tower missed out on a fantastic buffy because the CCTV even enjoy it. He had two helpings of the lasagna, so well done to uh, the G for putting on a fantastic buffy and keeping this guy from uh, constantly moaning about not having enough food inside him. Uh, lasagna, very nice, well done. Uh, upcoming in April for us, and we've got the uh, Virgin Festival at Aspers. Uh, they've got a week-long tournament running, concluding with the final on the Saturday and Sunday. Looking like 200 runners plus, so really looking forward to Aspers on the 12th and 13th. Then we've got, <laughs> excuse me yet again, <coughs> then we've got the Gala Casino Poker Tour, which is on the 18th to the 20th of April. Qualify on Gala Poker or Coral Poker, get yourselves in, we'll be in Nottingham, looking forward to that too. And then the week after is the GUKPT in Manchester, so you can qualify for that one on Blue Square Poker. No need for you not to be at any of these events, as qualification starts from about a dollar online. Uh, fantastic places, so get yourselves uh, qualifying online for these respective events. It's looking fantastic for April, really looking forward to uh, getting out and about in three different venues, starting with uh, Aspers a week on uh, Friday. But that's just about it from me. As you can see, still not 100%, but get in there. We'll see you with the results <coughs> and more news from the Tower News on Friday. We'll see you later.